Hello and welcome to the first video tutorial on the Kenta Music WordPress theme. In this video tutorial we are going to show you how to install the theme, the required plugins and import the demo contents. First of all, be sure to have the latest WordPress version installed in your server or local installation. Then you will need to unzip the product folder downloaded from Team Forest. You will notice that the product folder contains another series of folders. Do not try to install the zipped product folder as a theme. The theme is instead contained into an inner folder called theme to upload. This folder contains two zip files, Kenta Child and Kenta. Be sure to have the latest WordPress version and at least PHP 7.0. Appearance, Themes, Add New, Upload Theme. Then you can take the main theme folder, install it, and then we are not going to activate it. Instead, we are going to return to Themes page add new, upload and choose the child theme. This time we are going to activate it. A child theme is basically a shell installation including an almost empty folder which allows to override the native template files in case you want to do your own customizations. This is going to be very useful if you are going to edit your main uh, website and you don't want to lose these customizations when you are going to update the theme to the latest versions. You will notice a notification on the top of the screen so we are going to begin the installation. So we choose this and choose install and apply or we just click install. Please notice that these plugins are going to be downloaded from our server. For this reason you need CURL active on your WordPress installation on your PHP configuration and you also need to be sure that your firewall or, or server firewall is not blocking the CUR connection to our server. Once this plugin is installed, it will add a theme dashboard that is going to guide you through the rest of the setup process. As you can see, this is the list of the plugins. Some are required for the theme to work properly, some other are not fundamental, so you can just select them all, choose install and then apply. Wait a few seconds and every plugin is going to automatically be installed for you. Please remember that Visual Composer as well as other premium plugins that we may include in the future are bundled as bundle license. This means that you don't get to have your own personal license activation code or purchase code. We are going to provide the updates for you within the theme updates packages and you don't have to worry about updating these plugins one at a time. So if you're going to see any notice asking to activate Visual Composer, you can buy your own license but you're not required to. As this page is now empty, this means that every plugin we need is now active and you can see that a bunch of new post types are now appearing on the left. We have Visual Composer, we have MailChimp and Vato Market, useful for theme updates and Contact Form 7 contact management page here. This is required for MailChimp to work properly. So if you have already a MailChimp account you may want to just add it here, otherwise you don't need a plugin at all 
and you can uninstall it or you can just ignore the message. Now let's get back to the original installation theme dashboard. The second step is to install the demo contents. As you can notice in the product page, there are a lot of alternative demo contents that you can choose from. The demo contents are basically divided among seven different demo installations. You can see the numbers reporting 0 0.1 or 0 0.2. This means demo 0, homepage 1, demo 0, homepage 2, demo 0, homepage 3, and so on. If you like an alternative homepage of the first demo, you just install demo 0 and then you are going to choose which homepage you want after importing the demo contents. To import a demo website, you go to install demo, carefully read the information. This is very important because installing the demo contents may overwrite your existing contents, feed read images, pages, IDs and so on. This is why we recommend to never import demo contents on top of an existing website because you may lose the content that you already have and we cannot help you with this. For this reason, you will need to read this message and if you are very sure, click I understand. Then, depending on the demo you choose, you just choose the content you like, confirm, click start import and if you are very sure, click OK. This message will confirm that the installation happened successfully. If you are noticing any error appearing in this screen, it may possibly regard the fact that we are not installing the contents on top of a fresh installation or that you can have other plugins conflicting with the demo content installation. If you have any error message, be sure to uninstall every plugin you have in your WordPress website before proceeding with the plugins and demo installation. Once this step is, is completed, you can click view your website and you can see that it will appear like this. As you can see, every image has been replaced by a demo image. This is because our pictures are stock photos that are licensed to us and we don't have the rights to redistribute them. But every page is already here and you can just start to edit your contents. Another important thing to know is that the tracks will not display the music spectrum. They will play fine but they will not display the music spectrum. This has been made on purpose and this is because we can only analyze the music spectrum for tracks that have been uploaded in your same domain. So we cannot analyze the music spectrum of the imported demo contents because they are linking to our own mp3 files which are in our server. So if you want to play mp3 files that are on other external hosting domains, servers, uh, cloud and things like this, you need to have the music spectrum disabled as it is in your imported demo contents. So if you go in settings, Kenta player, you will see that everything is disabled. Once you create your own releases and upload your own tracks, you will be able to go here and enable the music spectrum and optionally high quality effects. You can even use autoplay if you want and show player at first opening. But if you're going to use the music spectrum and save these contents with the imported demo contents, the music is not going to play anymore because it is trying to analyze mp3s that are on our server which is not allowed by the browser security policy. Then you will see that this is not playing. 
So please remember, if you want to use the music spectrum, that you have to upload your own track in your same domain. This tutorial is finished and in the next one we are going to see how to change the appearance of your website with a customizer. Thank you for watching and see you soon.